welcome back to Wild Card Wednesday, July 22nd, 2009. I was looking at the calendar and today is exactly one month away from the wedding of my oldest son to his beautiful fiance Sheena. So it got me inspired to make a wedding card today. So what we're going to be using is first of all the Baroque Motif stamp set, some creamy caramel ink, and some Whisper White ink. Now you'll notice that I've put a W on these because the black ink pad and the white one are so similar. So I put three W's in white so I know when I go to grab it that this one is the white one. Just some pearls and ribbon that are not Stampin' Up! Uh, products but they match the creamy caramel so well. This is my envelope. Again, whenever I'm doing a formal card, like a wedding card or a really nice birthday card, I love to do a square card. That's just me personally. I just think they're nicer. So this envelope is six by six, so my card measurement will be five and a half square. And we'll be using some creamy caramel cardstock and of course some Whisper White cardstock. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut my Whisper White five and a half by 11 and then fold it to create a square and I'm going to cut a square of five and one quarter inches out of the creamy caramel. I went ahead and cut all the pieces that we're going to require to make our card. So as I mentioned, it's a five and a half inch square. This creamy caramel square is five and, no, five and one quarter, sorry. This um, bottom white piece is one and a half by three inches. This next mat is one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And this one is one inch by two and a half inches. I'm going to be stamping the word cherish right there. Then up here, there's a square, another mat. This one is a three inch square. That will be right there. This one's two and three quarter inch square and this two and a half inch square. And then there's, I punched a circle with a scallop circle punch. And I'm going to be stamping this flower design in creamy caramel on Whisper White and then I'm going to be cutting it out with the 1 and 3 8 inch circle and adhering it to the scallop punch. I'm going to take the, um, the really nice scroll and I want to scroll a diagonal, a continual diagonal across the piece of cardstock. Okay, before we can apply the dazzling diamonds, we must add our heat and stick powder, which kind of is a glue, and it once it gets heated up, it's kind of sticky, and so the glitter will adhere to the sticky surface. Stampin' Up! They come in packages of two. One I keep for stippling paint on and one I keep clean just to get rid of excess glitter when you're doing a card or something and you see how there's always some that you don't want around that didn't glue on properly just to clean the card up really nicely. These work really really well. The next thing I'm going to do is stamp the flower image in creamy caramel on top of this Whisper White cardstock. There we go. I'm using the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch to cut this out. And I'm going to adhere it onto the creamy caramel scallop. But before I do that, I'm going to take my paper piercer and put a little, some little holes around. 
I store my paper piercer inside of this packing stuff. It's kind of like foam. And it's a great place if you want to use it to make holes around your scalloped edge. So I'm going to go ahead and make holes around the center of all the scallops on this punch. Okay, I have gone ahead and mounted our center square with the flower motif cut out with a one and three quarter inch uh, circle punch, the flower stamped in creamy caramel and the large pearl inside. I made little holes in the uh, scallops around the punched image and then I raised, I don't know if you can tell if I turn it sideways, it's raised up with dimensionals. And also the word cherish, the same thing, stamped it in creamy caramel and then mounted it on the, the mats. So before I adhere it to the card front, I'm just going to add a little bit of a ribbon embellishment. Okay, I've just finished putting my card together, but I just wanted to show you something. When I'm doing a lot of stamping and I don't have time to clean my stamps right away, I put them inside the case upside down which reminds me that the stamp hasn't been cleaned. And I always clean my stamps within the same day that I use them. I made the mistake of not doing that once, and the rubber got really hard on one particular stamp. It wasn't a Stampin' Up stamp, but it totally ruined the stamp. Uh, Stampin' Up sells the Stampin' Scrub, which is great. And one thing I've done with mine is with, uh, I don't know if you can see it, with a Sharpie, I've, I've indicated what side's the wet side and what side's the dry side because they're so similar. So I just, just take your stamp and put it on. the cleaner's been sprayed on and put it, clean it off and put it right back in. And even the large ones, I'll just put it down and give it a good scrub. off and all of that white ink came off really nicely and then I can pop it back in and this way I know myself if I don't do it right away it's not going to get done so I just have one more to do and we're done so my stamps are clean so let me just show you our finished card. I've gone ahead and mounted our card and right here I tied a little bit of creamy caramel ribbon and took three little pearls from that pearl set and made a center there and put the pearl in the middle. I think this is a really pretty card. And I hope if anyone's getting married in your family that everything is beautiful and wonderful and they have a wonderful day. So we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.